This is a delicate little watercolour I painted in Teosui sketches. I love the background. I love the way I've got the stems in there for the flowers, all really subtle and, uh, and soft. This video is going to be a bit different because normally when I sketch in Teosui, I just do this sketch. I don't really go into detail about what I'm doing. But this time, I'm going to walk you through this step by step to show you how you can paint something like this. So let's get into it. So here we are in Teosui sketches. I begin by uh, taking the photo and cropping down to just a very small portion that I want to work with. And I, I do that a lot with flowers. Um, obviously, sometimes you could sort of paint great bunches of flowers, but when I'm doing studies like this, I kind of just like to work with a very small area. And this time I like this sort of diagonal shape that the flowers made. So that's why I chose that. I begin by creating a layer and I'm using the pencil just to sketch in the uh, daisies. Now the first one I took my time with and kind of got the petals roughly where they were on the actual photo. And then after that, I thought, you know, this doesn't really matter. That's not what I'm trying to achieve. So the rest of the flowers, I drew a lot faster and a lot less um, concerned about making it look exactly like the photo. I wasn't, that's not what I'm after. I just wanted to sort of get this pencil sketch in as quick as I could. Now, once the sketch was finished, I created a new layer. In actual fact, I created two, but I took one and put it below the pencil layer. So now when I'm uh, painting, it is below the pencil layer. I choose the brush and uh, select, I think it was the third watercolour brush along. So this is the watercolour brush. Now this bit is really important. I've got the um, size set to about a quarter and the, um, the opacity nearly full up. But what is really important, when you put your pencil on the screen to do this, don't take it off again until you've finished. Now by applying more pressure, you can get a, a deeper, richer color on the canvas. And if you just apply really light pressure, you get this nice soft edge to the watercolor. But do not take your your uh, Apple Pencil off of the screen. If you do that, you will then get an odd edge towards the, the color that it, you won't get this nice soft blend. I then took the eraser and started to lift out uh, some of the uh, petals because, as you notice, I started to paint around them, but in the end, I just didn't care and just sort of crashed over them all. But I only did the top flower, and then I decided uh, I wanted to get the yellow, the yellow of the uh, centers of the flowers in there. So I continue until I've got all of the centers painted and then I, I did quite a neat job but then I decided I want a, a fuzzier edge where it would bleed into the green so I just went round the edge again same brush and everything I didn't change it just to add that sort of uh, glow of where the uh, yellow of that center of the flower would sort of bleed into the background and then I used the eraser again and started to lift out the petals. And you'll notice that I'm not being too fussy or too neat. I'm not working exactly within that line. I always like things to be a little bit sort of messy and a bit artistic, I suppose. And I, I like things to be um, not too, too neat. So I'm not worrying uh, too much about what I'm lifting out, just as long as I'm sort of getting the petals uh, as, you know, reasonably neat, but not not worrying too much. And I also, uh, you'll notice when I did the green, there was like little bits of white left here and there. I'm not bothered about that either. I think that just adds to the effect. So I'm continuing here, just lifting out all the white. I, I am going to create uh, a layer and put some shadows really delicate shadows on the petals so they're not start white but at the minute 
I'm just um, erasing away and just lifting out that uh, green. So I'm um, nearly finished. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going to create another layer. And this time I want to paint another wash. So it would be like a glaze, I suppose, in watercolour. So I take that new layer and then I put it on top of the coloured layer, but below the pencil layer. So the pencil layer always remains on top. And I'm changing the brush. I choose the next uh, brush size up, which is the one that looks a little bit like a sun. And I've got a blue-green colour. I took a blue and a green um, off the palette. And then you've got this blend option. And I, I chose the, the centre one. Uh, to um there's a center slide that goes sort of from blue to the green and i move the cursor into the middle of that to get a blue green color then i took the eraser again once i've got on the uh the this uh, darker blue color and started to erase where i'd painted over the petals because this time i didn't even try to um not go over the petals i just sort of uh, crashed the color in where I wanted and drew in a few uh, stems as well. You can see these stems that are in the dark color, but that's not the end of it. There's uh, I do something else. Once I've got all of these petals drawn in, I'm going to um, do a little bit of negative drawing. I suppose I'm negative drawing now that I'm lifting out uh, these petals, but I want to put some more stems in and unlike where I'm just sort of following the pencil lines roughly, uh, when I put the stems in, I'm just going to uh, guess or go with the flow, I suppose, and just lift in a few um, stems. Now, I do drop the opacity down a lot on the eraser, so it doesn't lift it all out. And there you can see I just drew one stem in and then another and I'm just putting a few stems in by lifting out some colour. And uh, that to me sort of adds a lot of interest to this sort of what would be a very plain background, I guess. So once I've done this, the background is pretty much finished. Now I want to um, concentrate, I suppose, on the actual petals because they're looking really flat at the minute. So I'm going to create a new layer, put that below the pencil layer again. That's really important. Choose the brush uh, and I go to the second largest size, I think. And then I'm selecting a blue color. I, I really want, uh, I've got the brush size quite small and I want a very pale blue. And I don't even know if you can see it. I, on, I don't know if you, if the video shows it very well but I'm actually painting in these sort of blue shadows now and they're not I can't see it very clearly I hope you can uh, but trust me I'm sort of painting in uh, a shadow around the a kind of close to the the center of the flower and then the odd stem that uh, is clearly behind another or I should say one petal that is clearly behind another petal I'm painting that in with this soft blue so it really is um, a very delicate color that I'm just sort of uh, getting in there and then I add a darker orange which bleeds into the blue I think that looks really nice but it's got this hard edge so I just select a bit of yellow and paint along the top and that softens that hard edge that's on the top so there we go that I think is pretty much it yeah you can see the blue now all of a sudden the blue seems to be popping so I don't know why you couldn't see that before I create a new layer just to get a signature on there I sign it and that is it that is my very delicate painting of some daisies i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing because i've got lots of videos like this and i would love to be sharing them with you so hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye